In this video, we will study the pathology of having sarcomas. First of all, you need to know that having sarcomas and giant cell tumors are both considered tumors of unknown origin, which means that these tumors are present in bone, but it is not known that what are the precursor cells that undergo mutation to form these tumors. So both of these tumors are tumors of unknown origin, but in this video, we will be focusing on having sarcomas. First of all, having sarcomas are defined as malignant tumors of bone with neuroectodermal differentiation. We will later see in the morphology section that how does the neuroectodermal differentiation actually appears. But for now, you need to remember that having sarcomas are malignant tumors that show neuroectodermal differentiation. Now, as far as their age of occurrence is concerned, you need to remember that having sarcomas occur in the younger stage group of less than 15 years of age. So out of all bone tumors, having sarcomas occur in a young age of less than 15 years. Thirdly, their site of origin is from the diaphysis of long bones. You know that diaphysis means shaft of the long bones. So, having sarcomas arises from the shaft of long bones. And for this to remember, you can imagine that the word wing in Evings gives you a hint about birds. So, you can imagine a bird sitting on the twig of tree at the center. So, just like this image, the Evings sarcomas are present in the central shaft region of the bone. Now, as far as their pathogenesis is concerned, they are caused by translocation between chromosome number 22 and chromosome number 11. This translocation between chromosome number 22 and 11 results in a formation of fusion gene product that is EWSR1 and FLI1. Here EWSR stands for having sarcoma. So you can remember the name of this gene, fusion gene product as VING plus TRI. VING reminds you of having that is having sarcoma gene 1 or EWSR1 and FLI means FLI1. So, the fusion gene product is having sarcoma FLI1. Now, the radiological appearance of these tumors is destructive tumors that extend into the soft tissues and they characteristically show layers of reactive bone on periosteum. These layers of reactive bone appear like multiple layers of onion skin. So, you can see layers of reactive bone on periosteum. Now, we will study the gross and microscopic features of having sarcomas. So, firstly, on gross specimens, these tumors seem to arise from medullary cavity. And after arising from the medullary cavity, they cause invasion of the periosteum and surrounding soft tissues. So you can see that these tumors are arising from this central medullary cavity and they are invading the periosteum and surrounding soft tissue. And the second point is that they can show areas of hemorrhaging and necrosis like all other malignant tumors. Now let's come to the microscopic features. We studied in the definition of these having sarcomas that they are malignant tumors of bone that show neuroectodermal differentiation. And now at this point, it will be clear to you that what this neuroectodermal differentiation actually means. So the keywords to focus for having sarcomas are small blue cells plus homerite rosettes. Small blue cells plus homerite rosettes. Small blue cells means that the tumor will be small in size and blue cells means that they will have large blue nucleus with clear cytoplasm. So you can see here in this diagram that these tumors are composed of small cells that have a large nucleus with clear cytoplasm. Now the second keyword is homerite rosettes. Homerite rosettes means that the tumor cells encircle a central fibrillary core. Now the central fibrillary core is made up of fibers that resemble dendrites and axons. That's why I said they have neuroectodermal differentiation because neurons also have dendrites and axons. So just like these neuronal processes, their central core of fibers and the tumor cells surround these fibers and this structure is known as homerite rosette. So in microscopic picture of having sarcoma, you see small blue cells plus homerite rosettes. This concludes the pathology of having sarcomas.